Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Broken Universe. Um, this is a tower defense game that actually has some genuinely good reviews, although uh, I think that the tower defense community is very passionate about their genre, which, uh, you know what, go for it. Um, um, this is in collaboration with the uh, Games Development World Championship and uh, pr key provided by them and by Gen 3 Studio, the, uh, the company, the developers potentially of this game. I see the publisher or the listen. I'm very good at my job. Okay, um, I really appreciate uh, the the freebie key. Thank you so much. We're gonna check out this this game. All right, friendship. What? Oh no. Mm, what? Uh oh. He Okay. I absolutely know what's going on. Okay, yeah, they're, they're gonna uh, spaceship off into the unknown in order to get um, our, their, their, their partner back. Gotcha. What the heck happened? It's worse than we thought. All plans have been blown to bits. We have to look for Kona. Hang on, I'm picking up some kind of signal from Juvia. Uh, really? That must be Kona. Okay, all right, all right. I'm gonna skip this. We're gonna, we're gonna play the game. It's coming from over there. I'll make contact when I land. It'll be hard to get the landing. Listen. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, bud. Um, from what I could see, uh, this this game's got quite a lot of things going on. What do we do now? Uh, use a drone. Start by dr turning on a drill. You can use resources you find with a drill to build a fence of buildings. Okay. What do we do about these guys? Check the construction panel. The blueprints should have loaded by now. Choose a good place to build something and construct a uh, construction panel should appear. All right, let's build something here. We're gonna build a turret. Well, that seems unfair. You can just build a turret right in their path. Usually you have to uh, have at least like a, a path available to the goal. Let's try making another. All right. Great, now check your goal panels. Can you see my location? Uh, oh, I see, okay. There's more of them. I gotta say, I really like the art style in this game. It's very cute and colorful and uh, fun. It's simple, but you know, like it's 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 got chops. Can't beat them. You need barriers. You can find blueprints in the control panel. Okay, we're gonna make a barrier. Uh, so our turret can still shoot them, so we're gonna need a bunch of turrets. You almost got them all. Just hang in there a little longer. I'll do what I can. Construct buildings to stop monsters. Towers can face monsters, but their durability is relatively weak. Barriers usually can't attack, but they can withstand attacks. All right. And that's that's that. So let's go ahead and build some turrets, and we'll go ahead and throw down another barrier just in case they break through that one. It looks like they will. And uh, we can build one of these. These have fairly large uh, range. Let's see what that does. Bombs explode. Excellent. Nice. Um, I don't know what to, what's going on with these. Can I, I can't build where those, oh, I see. So those are, prevent us from building. Rats, the portal is blocking the access. Let me take care of these guys first. All right. Can we upgrade these? Probably we can uh, eventually. The portal is changing shape. It's closing. It seems to have some, be having some effect. Have you found any sign of Kona? Okay, listen. Let's uh, let's get to some of the you know bigger meat and potatoes of this game. This game, um, though it is a tower defense, uh, it doesn't feel like a like a mobile port, which is nice. Um, I have found that a lot of tower defense games will feel a little bit cheap. That's from my own. Like I have played good tower defense games. Um, I, I like that one. I can't remember what it's called. It's called Gem something. Uh, is a really decent one. I'm not. I, I'm not hugely versed in the tower uh, defense genre, but I have enjoyed. It's it's a it's a good enough genre to to kind of you know get into. So okay, if they have a path, they will take the path, which is nice because it means you can create a path um, where they will not destroy your turrets. We can we could build something here. Yeah, let's build this guy because this guy has a larger range. Ooh, I like these frog fellows. There's so many of them. What should we do? Use a cannon. 
Um, okay. Oh, okay. I already built a cannon. We've been- we've already been building cannons. I hate to- I hate to tell you that, but... Can we- we can attack this... Sand? Okay, we can direct turrets to attack other blocks, and that way we could maybe put another turret there. That's kind of interesting. Choose a dual turret. What? Choose one dual turret. Upgrade. There we go. This is the standard tower defense, uh, you know, play a gameplay loop here. We don't have enough money to build another turret. Can we upgrade this lad? We can upgrade this lad. Let's, let's do that. And I mean, this is a, it is what it is. It's it's a, it's a tower defense game. I, I like I've seen on uh, the Steam store page that there is some developments in this game. Is like large monsters or um, you know events and things develop in an interesting way. But I mean, it is a tower defense game, and I think that um, most developers that work on a tower defense game know the genre well, and they they know what they want. They want balloons. People just want balloons. Try selecting the hangar menu. So we've got the hangar menu. Blu register blueprints you'll use in the game here. Uh, as your level increases, you can unlock more blueprints. So we have a new tower. Um, so we can, okay. So we, we have like kind of a loadout and maybe some tower uh, turrets are gonna be better for uh, certain levels, gotcha. Um, all right, so we've got our third level. We've only got five. Uh, maybe I'll play to the first boss. Just difficult enough to be enjoyable. Let's do, for players who want a challenge, let's do something difficult. And then maybe we'll get some more rewards. I attach the scanner to the landing pod. You can check out the, the land in advance. And it'll also tell you where you can land. Okay. Before the game starts, the scanner will show you possible landing spots. Select where you want to land and press OK. Um, make sure you land in a place that's easy to defend. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and do this one. And then, um, we'll, we'll put a barrier here so that they have to go the other way. Be best to put up barriers along the left side. Yeah, I know. Listen, I know exactly what I'm doing here. Angry monster, monsters can attack even if the paths aren't blocked. Okay, so you should put up defenses, um in places like this just in case so we can we should be able to set up lots of stuff so what is what are these what do these do i don't know what these do so we'll we'll we'll, we'll set one up um maybe these slow slow things down i, I should have like figured out pinpoint striker tab deals 150 percent additional damage to larger monsters um, is this just like a rock, paper, scissors situation where they just, they do more, uh, to, to us? I wonder if, uh, monsters can attack sand. Because if they can, that's, that's a, that's a problem. I also wonder if I set up a barrier, will they start attacking the turrets? Lots of questions. We'll see. We'll see what this turret does, first of all. Okay, so this just seems to be like an orbital strike cannon. And it does some pretty decent damage. I don't know if I have to like hover over or click those little gems. I do know that we have to get 300 gems if I want three stars. How much money do we have? Is that our money? Like if I spend some money, is, is it taking from our... Yeah, it is. Okay, so if we want to complete this level with the best uh, rank, we want to actually not spend money, which is an interesting um, an interesting way of doing things. If you don't have enough room, you can break the surrounding walls to make more space. Break the surrounding walls. Select the tower, then choose which wall you wish to attack. Uh, if you destroy the walls, you can enlarge the space or create new paths. Monsters can't break walls, but some bosses can. Okay, so that answers that question. Whoa, these frogs are fast. Now I want to put something here just in case um, the monsters get the bright idea. Ooh, okay, we've got we've got a problem. First of all, let's put a block there, and then second of all, let's put a turret there. Uh oh. It's a good thing I put this guy here. That's uh, that, that is actually helping a little bit, and he actually has the range that we can hit these monsters as they they approach. So that's that's good. 
Um, usually in these tower defenses, you get a you can like rush the next uh, wave, and then you get a benefit. Try fast forward button. Okay. We'll see how that goes. It seems to me that one of those frogs attacked a turret. Yeah, that angry. See that that's that's that that uh, angry frog was attacking the wall. Hence why I put this guy here. Okay, so these guys are getting through. Can we do a pause? Let's build a... Um, okay, yeah, these things are getting dicey. We still have a rank 3 right now. Now, the problem is we've blocked the path. Oh, well, there is no problem, actually. We won. <laughs> okay. We got some money. I wonder if we can uh, unlock a new tower. I didn't unlock any towers. Select boosters. Okay. Increase initial resources by 500. Increase initial drone. Ooh, what? That's interesting. All right, well, let's, um, let's do, let's do this. So it costs 8,000, but we're going to start with some more resources. Do you see that venom sack? You mean that thing? Uh, I see tons of them. If you activate it with a drone, it'll spew poison. That's another tool to help you stop the monsters. These monster field elements can help you face monsters. They can help you destroy monsters more easily or save you from dangerous situations. Okay. Um, so from the looks of things, here's the, I mean, here's our, our summon. I think we want to put our guy here. That seems like the best place to defend. I don't know if these uh, tiles here are going to help us at all. Added a drone plant to the landing pod. You can make more drones if you need to. Perfect. I was just thinking I could use some more drones. You can create new drones with the button in the top and the bottom right corner. The more drones you have, the higher the cost and the longer the production time. Um, when you reach the max number of drones, you can't make any new ones. That seems counter to what I would think, honestly. Um, all right, so let's let's go ahead and put a guy there just to start. And then we're going to go ahead and throw down. So how, how does one create a pod? Oh, I see. We, we are already at our maximum drone. So that means we can like build as much as we want. And I'm going to go ahead and throw down a couple of these pinpoint like orbital strike zones. We'll also we'll get rid of this 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 guy and we can put down another one of those. And we'll put down some of those and we're just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna build very liberally and then hopefully we'll make the money back before the stage is over um yeah we're good for now so we can if we want uh, activate these uh, eggplants and uh and that will hope that, that'll that'll be a good stop gap. oh these trees actually spawn enemies i did not see that coming it's a good thing I put turrets like everywhere. Oh, those those coconuts are rather tanky. Um, let's put another pinpoint guy here, just in case. Uh, might want to start upgrading towers. There's a long range monster. It'll be tricky to face it since it attacks from a distance. What should I do? Try setting up towers in corners or use towers that have a long range. Facing these monsters is tricky. You have to take them out at the beginning of the path or use towers of long range. Okay. Well, I seem to be doing okay at fighting them. So let's upgrade a couple towers. The problem with upgrading towers, uh, this is a standard kind of tower defense mechanic, is that once you're upgrading them, they uh, they they are no longer active. They're not. They don't have the ability to attack anymore. At least not for not for a while. So I think I'm going to hold off on spending any more resources because uh, oof. we want to make sure that we get the, get a high rank. Things are looking good, though. I might want to upgrade. Like now that we're at um, highest rank, we can we can start spending. Uh, we could buy some pinpoint upgrades. Those pinpoint turrets seem pretty good, actually. We're at times two speed. Okay, these coconut lads are, are you know, they're, they're okay. They seem to be okay. I wonder if we like lose resources um, when they when they start attacking my my lad, my my spaceship. 
Um, I'm gonna definitely make a couple upgrades because we're we're well exceeded the top rank. It's a nice way of doing things is like once you hit the top rank, then you can start spending some more money. And you can also, in addition to like fast forwarding, you can actually slow time down, which is a good way. There's no, I guess there is a pause, but the pause is a pause. It's not like you, you can't pause and then like build some stuff. So the best you can do is like slow things down a little bit. All right, dangerous landing. I don't need help. Apparently I don't need help. I did get some money back, but I don't know if I got as much back as I spent to get extra resources in the beginning there. So we can, it's an interesting thing. You, you like spending the money is gonna be kind of risky. Um, let's try not spending the money. I can see a giant parrot at the next location. It's absorbing the portal's energy. If it keeps this up, it might destroy the portal and cut off the signal. We can't let that happen. Let's go right away. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got we have a boss. Um, I feel like this would be the best place. There's a couple of candidates, but this seems good enough. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. I think this is the guy I saw on the store page. Angry parrot. That's a massive parrot. Care careful, we don't know what it'll do. The energy coming off that thing is no joke. I'd better prepare really well to face off against a guy like that. Okay. Um, so the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and put a barricade here so that we change the path. And then we can also put a barricade there to change, make the path as long as possible. Uh, we could then, uh, then we want to start building some turrets. I can't build on these swamp zones, which is good to know. Um, let's, let's build, I think, hmm. Let's, let's put a turret here, and then I'm going to break one of these sand blocks. Break this one. Oof. So he can he can hurt our uh, our turrets. Give me a second. All right. So things are going all right so far. It didn't seem to do that much. Oh, never mind. I was going to say it didn't do that much damage. But... Let's make some more stuff and let's us also upgrade some things. Yo, where are you guys coming from? Yo, activate this poison. There we go. Do it. Um, also, let's. I'm gonna go make a couple of barricades. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're like we need to start stockpiling some money because I'm I'm not okay right now. Do these go away after they're used? Uh, that's something that is a little bit concerning because if they do then then you can only use them once, right? Yeah What do you mean ammo? What do you mean you don't have ammo? Did they, they need ammo? Oh God those coconut lads are, are actually a problem All right, let's um, I'm gonna make a barricade and I'm gonna make another turret here Oof and then hopefully that buys me a bit more time. What's that? It's an energy shield. It'll be more, it'd be difficult, difficult to penetrate with normal attacks. You have to use energy weapons. Okay. Energy type weapons in order to defend against monsters with shields. Uh, you can check a uh, building status window to see what type of weapon it has. Two types, physical and energy. Okay. Um, let's slow the time down for a moment. Um, do I have any energy type this is physical type and then these are also physical type do i have the means to do like are these physical i don't know if i have energy type weapons at all so that's a little concerning but you know i don't think it's a huge problem just because i'm not uh efficiently destroying their shields doesn't mean that we're going to die here oh well mm. okay that was a little bit spooky let's upgrade uh, a couple of our mainstay turrets here so yeah once you use um an eggplant it is like used it's done donezo uh uh yo hit him my dude are we are we we're taking damage Oh god, oh god. Okay, um... Well, we are over the three-star limit, so that's good. 
can throw down a guy there and we'll go ahead and throw down another pinpoint turret. I like the pinpoint turrets. They're probably not the most efficient turrets. Uh, okay, we, we gotta slow our roll a little bit on the spending. Jesus. Calm down with the, the, the laser beams, my dude. I don't think we... I don't think taking damage on our, like, main... On our, our, our spaceship is actually a problem. Okay. We, we gotta... We gotta defend. Path leading the pod is blocked. Attack along the, the fastest path. That makes sense. What, how do I deliver um, ammo to these turrets? Oh, I'm glad I put that barricade up because things are not going well right now. Jeez. Okay. I, I, I mean, maybe I should have saved some of these eggplants. Uh oh. Okay. This is this is a nightmare. I, I think maybe I, I, I uh, <laughs> did not. I, I played. I should have played a little bit more aggressively. All right. Let's try again. I'm gonna I'm gonna continue to try and do this without without uh, you know spending too much money. All right. So first things first. Um, block there. Block there. Um, let's put the put a turret here this time, and here. So this is gonna hit both sides, and um, I guess that's all I can do for now. I really don't like those coconut lads. Those coconut lads really suck. Um, okay, we can, let's put a turret here and we'll destroy some of these sand blocks and then we'll, we'll have to, we'll create a, a bit more of an infrastructure up here. And I'm gonna be a bit more aggressive with my spending in the first part, especially up here where there's like these coconut lads show up and it's a real problem. I don't know how to get them ammo. I wonder if I need to make more um, of these these pods. Not pods, sorry. The, the Oh god, things are not going well right now. Ugh. I need to make more of these drones. And I don't know how. They explained to me that I needed the drones, but they didn't explain to me how to get more. <laughs> At least I, I don't know if they did. All right. So this is, I, I truly do not like these coconut boys. They, I don't like that they can just kind of appear wherever. And they're very tanky. Like these guys are not dying. I'm actually gonna lose in the first five minutes this time. My God, okay. Um, you know what? Something we can do. You know what we need? We need more bomber lads. Let's put some bomber lads down. Actually, that's a pretty good spot for it, I think, because I, I'm pretty sure it can reach the coconut lad there, which I'm really hoping he dies. Like, good lord. Okay, let's upgrade some units. Oh, we don't have enough. Again, uh, you gotta. I, I like. I know you. Sa I said like wait for until you have enough to, to guarantee a um a three three star success. But also uh, things are not good right now. So let's let's wait for things to be a bit better. Man, I hate these coconut guys a lot. <laughs> I might start barricade. Let's let's throw down a barricade here. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that because that means they're going to start attacking other barricades. Um, why don't we upgrade this barricade for now? I'm wondering if there's a way we can uh, bolster this path so that it's not as appealing to them so they still go all the way around. It looks like no. So I think I'm gonna destroy this this guy over here for now. All right, let's. I'm just gonna be a bit more aggressive. I don't know. I only have 20 seconds left, so unless I make four or like 300 and so gems in the next 15 seconds, this is not gonna go well. 
Oh my god. Stop. Okay, let's let's use up these eggplants. Oh, I think I just barely made it. He turned back into a regular parrot. Dang, okay. So we got some stuff. Hopefully none of these tie into some kind of monetization. I'm, I'm kind of hoping that's the case. We leveled up. New content unlocked skill. Enhancement. Fusion tower. I didn't realize uh, monsters could be so strong. That was intense. I had no idea either. Good thing I fixed your weapon systems. Either way, we should use a targeting system. You can do that. Our weapon system is still weak, but there's room for improvement. So we can go to the hangar and we can get a skill. Ah, uh, yes. I'm usually not a fan of skills in, in the uh, tower defense games. Just like buildings, you can use skills after registering them in the appropriate slot. Yeah, well, okay. You can use enhancements. What exactly can I enhance? You can use it on buildings and the targeting system, but we'll need those resources you've been gathering. In the hangar, you can enhance buildings and skills. Once you make an enhancement, it becomes permanent. You need parts to enhance buildings. Okay. So, you know, uh, pretty straightforward stuff here. We, uh... What? How do I... Oh, I need to buy this lad as well. Okay, so we, we bought this. I don't know what currency we're spending to get this, to be honest. Um, and then we can go to the buildings and we can enhance some buildings. We need to be level 4 before we can see some different building types. I only have physical type buildings. I don't have anything exciting or, uh, you know, energy based yet. So I tend to use this building a lot. So let's go ahead and enhance that. Increase durability by 30. Increase attack by one. Increase knock by, back by five. Sure. So we'll make a bunch of enhancements to that lad. Uh, I do also like this guy. So let's go ahead and, you know, upgrade him. Actually, I don't see a reason why we can't, shouldn't just like do all of the upgrades we can. In fact, we can upgrade our wall as well. And we can even upgrade our skills. But this uses like fusion points or some business. I'm getting all kinds of achievements right now. I am achieving. Are you are you proud of me, father? Uh, we need to be level four before we can um, use items. But yeah, um, you know, if, I think if you've played a tower defense game, this game's gonna feel very familiar to you, but I think that this is a good execution of it. Um, it's got a story, which I do think a lot of tower defenses uh, games are kind of lacking. Um, but you know, you can either take it or leave it. I would leave it, but I, I appreciate that it's there. Birth of the monster corn. It's corn. You know, corn just keeps staying relevant in my life. I don't know what to do about that. We have uh, other stuff too. We have a lab. This is, it looks like a major skill tree going on in here. It looks like we can also uh, get skins for our pod. I'm not sure why that would matter and then we've got an armory so there's like lots of stuff to do in this game um yeah I'm, I'm only playing this game for about half an hour but that's only because i think that if you uh know you like this game you're gonna know pretty quickly and you know it's a tower defense game so you know what to expect what do you mean shop now this is this is concerning to me uh I'm hoping, oh God, I almost feel like I should like play the game just to find out if this game has monetization, but I don't think it does. That would be very strange. I, I think I, I think it's okay. It looks like it's just um, a currency conversion. I am a little bit concerned about item shop and module shop, but I don't know. I might, uh, I might have a quick look online just to confirm. Uh, from a cursory glance, it looks like there's this is not a monetization method. It's just a, I don't know, a means of delivering some dopamine in the form of uh, extra currency and like unlocks and stuff. So I, I think that that's fine. I've said it before, but I, I think that um, the means in which we deliver monetization isn't necessarily the, 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 the culprit. Like it's, you know, it, it, these are tools and you can use them for good or evil. So as long as we're not like profiting off of like FOMO and stuff like that, then that's fine. Um, but either way, uh, this, what is this game called? This is Broken Universe Tower Defense. I think it's cute. And I, I think it's it's actually pretty challenging um, for what it is. So I, I, you know, if you're a fan of tower defense games, then I think you'll have fun with this one. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And be sure to check out the uh, Game Development World Championship. If you are a developer, you can, uh, I think you still have time, you could uh, register your game to potentially win some prizes. And if you're not a developer, you can check the site out for a, a lot of undiscovered gems and other indie games. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.